Good night to the Barbados Labour Party family, particularly the folk of St. Lucie. The driver of L2551 has been asked to remove the vehicle. Please let us cooperate. We in the North are the best people in Barbados and we conform with the law. I am happy to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, comrades all, in support of a wonderful hometown man called Peter Phillips. And it's a joy to be here because I had canvassed a section of Checker Hall in St. Lucie earlier last year with the mass canvas. And Peter, I have told you, but let me tell the big crowd here tonight, the response was phenomenal. Peter, I don't want you to get complacent, but you go out there and you work with the people of St. Lucie like you have done before for all these years. Rupert, son, I am begging you, unless you save St. Lucie, I do not know what will happen with the only female parish, according to Kelman. I had a look at a manifesto of the past. And it said, the purpose of any election is to choose a government to manage the affairs of the country for a fixed period of time. Do you agree? Good management is not merely a question of caretaking or housekeeping. It concerns the mobilization of the human and material resources of the nation and a redistribution of it, wealth of its wealth, on the principle of the maximum social advantage. And this is a little paragraph from a 1976 manifesto. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, and you're feeling the pinch yourselves. The purpose of the, 19, of the 2018 general election is to choose a government that can manage and the Barbados Labour Party can do it better than any Democratic Labour Party ever has in its history. I want you to know, Lord Comrades All, that we had a set of millennium goals and this was international, where one of the major goals across the world was to eradicate poverty to let us continue to promote universal primary education. Listen to number three, promote gender equality and empowerment of women. And I took number six, ensure environmental sustainability. And we know that we have achieved to a certain extent that for universal primary education. But this Democratic Labour Party that boasts of the right excellent Errol Barrow as the father of education and independence and so has destroyed the rest of education. Tertiary level is in shambles. And you, the poor people of St. Lucie, are, as are the people across Barbados, your children are suffering when it comes to tertiary education because Dennis Kelman agreed with his cabinet that education should be paid for by university students, that tuition fee. I condemn what they have done, and I'm sure you do too, because every household needs an individual who will uplift that household and bring that family out of poverty. I also want to ask you, comrades, what is happening in our schools when it comes to school meals? And I'm going to give you two because Eddie has to speak. What is happening? where our children received lunch two Thursdays ago at five past three, the schools in the north. That sometimes is the only meal we can give our children since the Democratic Labour Party has started its draconian measures where people have lost their work. All grannies have, and granddads have had some of their pension taken away. The cost of living is so high, it's not only high in St. Thomas and high across the rest of Barbados, St. Lucie is feeling it too. Your member of parliament agreed to those changes that are now impacting on you and your health. I am going to deal with the goal, millennium goal number three after, in the time I've, they've given me. 
But there is a measure of fear in this Democratic Labour Party government. It's the first time in my life, and I always tell you all, I'm only 35. But it is the first time in my life that I've seen a Prime Minister so much under pressure from his colleagues, he cannot even identify a Deputy Prime Minister. For the last seven years, no Deputy Prime Minister, the eager 11 has him on his toes. And he does not want to admit, but it is a fact. When Mr. Thompson, now the late, right, um, um, Honorable David Thompson, did not include the member of parliament from St. Lucie in his cabinet, I did throw a little insult at him and told him, you're yeah, unfair, oh, poor Kelly Kelmanomics. Be Jinx Thompson read him better than me or any of you. He left him out deliberately because he perhaps could not imagine that that short man, and I'm not saying that in a derogatory way because sometimes short men are real nice and sweet. But the point I'm making is the man has an element of arrogance and ignorance too. and tries to contribute to everything that does not even call to him when he's out of his depth. So for you to get another member of parliament in Kelman again, and give him another term, having been here for a quarter of a century almost, I have a problem. Because for a member of parliament to tell the rest of the world with the video that 20% is more than 80, you need a member of parliament in Peter Phillips. You need a member of parliament in Peter Phillips because he has the common sense, he has the banking skill, he has the community life, he has everything under his belt to make your life better. What has Kelman done for you recently here, St. Lucy? I would really love to know. You know there's a saying, a small leak will sink a great ship. Well, Fandel got so many leaks in his ship. Captain, the ship is sinking. Let the Barbados Labour Party carry this country forward because investors will start to invest again. Barbadians will get jobs again. Barbadians will enjoy a life that is different. We will turn around the Queen Elizabeth Hospital as Liz Thompson did. We will get your garbage picked up as we did before and buy some trucks too. We will get you some transportation through the transport board and other resources, bring you home, get you to your work, get you to school on time, and to bring you in safely. And above all that, you got a Minister of Housing and Rural Development. Rural development consists many of us in rural Barbados, not only in the north, but in the east and in sections of the west and so on. And your member of parliament is sitting large and in charge and rural is doing little or nothing. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, before my time goes up, that the Barbados Labour Party established the Rural Commission, Development Commission and the Urban Development Commission. We saw houses repaired, new houses built at a cost that was commensurate with the quality house that was being offered. We saw roads being built both with the asphalt and with concrete. We saw over 700 people being trained every year in the rural department, through, through the rural department with the small business and so, so that they can develop skills in marketing. They can develop skills in accounting. They can develop their own businesses because rural is to do with entrepreneurship. So is urban. Today, we cannot tell anybody, and we can hardly show them a single house that Dennis Kelman has repaired or built, except some that I will tell you about now. But you know what hurts me most? I got Michael Lashley to acquire 47 lots in 40 acres. This is showing you how ridiculous the man is. And that gentleman gave away all 47 spots in St. Thomas to strangers. I want him to pass through St. Thomas door. Because he can drop in some potholes bigger than the ones down to St. Lucy. He can get some flat tires too. Because he lives or sleeps in St. Thomas. But it gives the impression that St. Lucy is where he lives. So he has to mark his car L. I live in St. Thomas and if I were living in St. Lucy, I would have to mark my car L. But I'm not going to live in St. Thomas and mark my car number anything else but where I live. 
I have another problem. Where Dennis Kalman supported every one of those high rise projects that the government came up with. And you know, the Valerie and the Grotto, above and beyond any of, any of you and the salary that you probably work for. He supported the government sending home over 4,000 people. He supported every one of those measures that his government came through because he has to talk and everything. I feel sorry for Kelman. When he calls for your be, oh my Lord. He gets treated so badly, Peter Phillips would never do that. Peter Phillips has the capacity, the ability, the tenacity to carry St. Lucy forward. Kelly is a village man and I expected him to treat Lucy, that female he talks about even better. But you know what else? He was responsible for the housing neighborhood uh, upgrade program. A program that has $60 million in it. I went, um, Michael Lashley left. He was the person to carry out that program, a six year period with that $60 million for Cass Castle, the Garden Land, Allen View, and Greenfields where very impoverished people live and they needed to get the houses repaired. They needed a little sewer system. They needed some employment. The project of 60 million Barbados dollars had it in. You know what? Kelman did not function. The Democratic Labour Party did not function. Of an amount of 47 million dollars was sent back to the IADB because they did not meet the six year conditionalities. And the people in Cass Castle, the people in Greenfields, the people even in St. Lucy's, got, St. Lucy, because some of you all could have had a $10,000 amount to help to upgrade the roof of your house or to build on a little extra bedroom. You did not benefit your member of parliament, sat and was to have presided over it, and that money went right back to the IADB. You need a member of parliament who cares for you. Peter Phillips from the Barbados Labour Party will make the difference. You need some small loans from rural though. You need some grants. You need some land for leasing for the land for the landless. Have you been able to benefit by that, ladies and gentlemen? And your minister had almost seven years to do that for you. If he did not do it in seven, and he has been there for such a long time, four or five consecutive terms, when will he do it when he is a century old? No, Peter Phillips will make the difference because he has the capacity to do it. They tell me that he has repaired a wall house. The rural plans are, it must be a wall house. A wooden house, excuse me. A wooden house, you will put in some, change some rafters, change the roof, give a little water, bone toilet, because that was the mantra of the Barbados Labour Party. Remove the pit toilets and give poor people a chance to do what they have to, number one or number two, inside of the house, instead of coming out in the wind and the highway like this. Lo and behold, a house in Stroud Bay, that is a wall house, was repaired for $70,000, seven zero. It could have built two and a half houses. Who here did not get the little old lady, the old man in the wheelchair, you can't even wheel it through the house, the flooring so bad. St. Lucy, you're feeling it. We are feeling it in St. Joseph, St. Thomas, St. Andrew, St. James, St. John, sections of St. Philip, and Kelly ain't doing a thing for you. A contractor, co contractor complete a wall house at mile and a quarter, $65,000. I know it was going to cost 100000 to complete it. A wall structure, that is madness. That NSRL building that rural development is renting, they moved from the Omni Center there in Spikestown, accessible to rural people, and he's so sensible he put it in urban Barbados. And you know what? That used to be, I understand, just over $7,000 per month for the rent. You know how much they're paying for it now? out of the taxpayers, and you get sent home. Your money got cut, you haven't got any salary increase. Your family have lost a pension of the two they were getting. Sixty-six zero thousand dollars a month for the Omni Center, and eighteen thousand dollars for electricity in that building. Your member of parliament has presided over that. In May 2016-17, 
that rural electrification board that should give you a street light, that should give you a light pole if you're too far from the road, you don't have the funds, owed by the government $300,000. I hope they have paid it, because you know what? The Labour Party is looking fairly fruitful in coming to, get, coming to be government again. But I don't know who me and the thing will manage if they do, and I believe we will, because of the standards that we uphold and because of the capacity of our 30 members, or I shouldn't say members of parliament yet, or 30 members who are candidates who have the vision, they have the know-how, they have the commitment, the governance model is there, the Labour Party will turn that around. I also want to talk about those small business people in rural who would help to build the houses and they stockpile the windows and the doors and so on as soon as this government came in. Those people still have the toilet bowls and the windows and so on their hands. Unceremoniously removed because they felt they were BLP supporters. I am tired of Barbados being divided down the middle like some of our Caribbean islands, where if you wear a different color shirt and here tonight, somebody ready to pull up your juggler. It is madness. That Democratic Labour Party has tried that, but you are a more civilized people. You love your people, whether they are B's or D's, because at the end of the day, we have to live here together. Now I'm gonna come closer to my ending. The hometown boy is the boy for you to look towards. And that hometown boy and that hometown man now, it's none other than Peter Phillips. I know tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that I fight for my people in St. Thomas even though I don't get the resources as I would like. And Peter, like me, have to pull the pocket too. However, we are all suffering under the draconian measures of this government. Unemployment, high, high, high. Your children now have a degree. They have the certificates. They have the training and the jinx writing CVs forever and ever no work. Only menial task, and then they wanted to give something for something to get the little wages when they come. Education in a mess, Kelly supported that. The water was in the north, he never said a word. As a matter of fact, he had on a video the half naked with a glass of something in his hand. And all Kelman feels he should do, according to what I've been told, is to come around to you, the people of St. Lucy, leading up to Christmas, and give you a $50 voucher to come to his shop to shop. Tear it up and pelt it in his face, because you're not beggars. The Democratic Labour Party wants to turn Barbadians to become mendicant. It will not happen under the watch of the Barbados Labour Party. We will arrest it whenever Frondel calls that election. I know that Cameron is no poor boy either. Because I know, yes, the light coming, I'm gonna wrap up. I know that St. Elmo's was sold for a pretty penny, it was down in the garden. I know that for a fact. I am not gonna go to delve into anything else except to say that that girl that was at CBC, that has no hope now, because I come into my leader now, has interfered with me and Motley again. I want her to know her place. Look, in 2004, Dame Maisie Barkovich now accused David Thompson of being male chauvinistic He and the Democratic Labour Party, and they were. They shunted the women aside. Owen us on the other hand, made sure that the women in the Barbados Labour Party served in cabinet, served as senators, served on boards, and made the difference. Because the gender equality that I spoke about as one of the millennium goals is very significant. And Sleepy Smith, now Sir Frederick, the late Sir Frederick told them, what she says, true, you know, when I don't treat women good, because he talked about girl Judy Eastman and all of that. I want you to say, as I close, ladies and gentlemen, comrades all, that female critic needs to get a good examination of her head, just as Kelma should. That lost case moderator that turned CBC into a political platform would not leave me a more motley QC MP. One of the most powerful women in this hemisphere. And she is highly respected internationally across the board. Almost everywhere you go, you hear, is that where Mia Motley comes from? Oh, she is so brilliant. 
and Barbadians choose to tear her down some of them. Born on a first, the first of October, the first female attorney general, the first female member of parliament for St. Michael Northeast, the first female leader of the opposition. And you know we recently had our first, a second one, female governor general. Congratulations to Dame Sandra. But I want you to know that Indira Gandhi was the, the prime minister of a, of a country internationally. I want you to know that Margaret Sasha, the Iron Woman, was. Eugenia Charles Doyle in Dominica. Portia Simpson. Pamela Bessasar in Trinidad and Tobago. Now me and Motley for Barbados. And we are going to see comfort to the people of Barbados. The aged will be happy. The unemployed will get employment gradually. Businesses will open up their doors. You will be able to feed your family. The mendicancy is gone and the youth of Barbados will rise up in a positive way, taking advantage of the education, taking advantage of the opportunity and looking after the aged with those generational links. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen of St. Lucie. Peter Phillips all the way. Who do you want? Who will you get? Don't get complacent. Do your groundwork. God bless you. Thank you and good night.